What's going on guys? Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Moving My Fishing. And today we got a pretty sweet video for you guys. Pretty weird, honestly, but it worked. So we're mutton fishing and snapper fishing with this electric Daiwa Tanacon. I'll explain the reason behind that and further in this video, but we got them. We got a cooler full of fish. You guys aren't gonna want to miss it. Let's dive right into this video. Here's what we got. That's a mutt in about, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> oh. So all I'm doing is bouncing my rod tip and uh, dropping down when we mark the bait. Oh my god, they're chewing. And they're chewing right now. Oh! Looks like a snook? Oh, I got a runner. You really, oh. hate, you really, really hate to see that one. Destroyed me. Nice ocean, oceanic hardtail. Damn, so here's the bait we're using this morning. Five sardines. Can't beat them. What are we gonna catch with those? We're gonna catch mutton snapper, mangroves, hopefully a couple groupers. Probably not gonna happen, but a nice blackie on the reef would do me right. But we'll see, we'll see. Never know. Go in front of the boat. What we're doing is rigging up. I got my three-way swivel to a dropper loop and put a lead on there in a minute. And I'm putting a leader on. And I'm probably doing about, I don't know, 30, 30 foot leader, 40 foot leader. About when my heart feels right. I don't even, you don't even gotta look how much leader I want. All right, CJ? Just when you feel it. That's a lot. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It's <laughs> like 60 feet a leader. 60, that's 60 feet. <laughs> All right guys, we're mutton fishing right now, or we just got done catching bait, we're about to mutton fish, and as you can tell, we're on the boat, repping the new moving weight shirts. Got CJ perched up on one, got mine, Dan's wearing one. If you guys wanna purchase one of these shirts, we'll have a link popping up right here, also a link in the description, and it really helps out our channel when you guys do buy a shirt, you know? It keeps us going, it keeps us getting more shirts, new opportunities to fishing, so, if you guys support the channel, please go ahead and buy a shirt. It helps us a lot. Um, and a little different technique for the months today. So I actually have been sick with mono. So I can't like, I can't commercial fish. I can't do any strenuous activities or else I could rupture my spleen. So can't like, you know, fight a fish, pump the rod. So using the electric grill today. CJ's electric grill, Tanicom. We're mutton fishing with it. It's gonna work. See, I mean, Chief does with the bandit reel, so. Oh. All we got is uh, un unreal, really. Nice steam. Repeat beam. Hook them in the tail, and then I go like this. Hey, bye. With my about 30, 40 foot. Why is he swimming to me? There we go. About 30 so feet. Like, yeah, I will. Big throws. I got a 12 ounce lead. 
going down. That, that is definitely That's a keeper mountain right there. Okay. Shorts on him! Cool, cool, cool. I'm, I'm tight, yeah. I'm nice man. Oh yeah. 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 Wow. Media of sorts. <laughs> nice lanes you got there. Jay, what's the verdict? That's a two fish eight. What? It's a runner eight of scraps. It's like a little grouper. No way. A little one. It is. I don't know, it looks dark, dude. You can't pull it. You can't pull it on the ladder, you're gonna change your line. He's tough. A little grouper. Measure him. Lackey! On the reef! Alright, guys. Just caught this little. He's definitely not legal, he's a tank, but. Black grouper. Look how pretty those things are. Colors on them. Wow. Dude, did you see him smoke it in the rod holder? Yeah, day? that's what it was. Yeah, because he rocked me up. Beautiful, such a beautiful fish. Go ahead and let him go right here. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Something of the S fan that I can't call it though. He'll eat though. He will eat. Alright, ready? Zero, he's 14 inches. 14 incher. Delete. Snacks. Look at that mutton. Look though. at that mutton. I don't know what's under it, but that's why I need to ice them. So all we're doing is hooking these sardines. Beautiful live sardines. Hook them in the tail so they swim away from the boat and the bait. current is pulling the current's pulling the bait towards that way, north. So you always have tension on your rod, you can feel when your bait's there, you know? You hook them in the nose, it's Hard to tell when you still, well, if you get a bite, you might not know, not know when you have your bait. So I throw them out, let them swim out with my leader until it gets tight. If my leader's tight, pitch in the lead. I know this looks a little funny because I'm fishing with an electric reel, but I'm just, I'm out here disabled. But I'm trying to make a video, all right? So it's all this. Wait till I get to the bottom. about 70 feet here. So I'll try to stop at 35, 32. All right, hit bottom, click it over, give it a couple cranks. Now we just wait, you'll see the bait gets super nervous. Um, we'll film it, so look, look at the bait. Let's see it before he gets a bite. He's a little nervi right now. And then it'll just get thumped. Then we click it over and slowly reel tight, just like that. That's all we do. We'll show you guys when we get tight. What'd you get there? On the Tanacom. Uh, try and guess. Oh, just another short mutton. Love to see that. So what we're doing out here to catch these muttons is a... Uh, wow, look at that thing. Um, we're, not, we're not anchored up right on top of the reef. We go a little outside of it in the sand because these muttons will be cruising around the reef on the sand looking for, you know, they like, oh, they just smoked the fish. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> yeah, it's Watch a nice that. fish. Here Back we up. go, boys. Another six. Here we go. Another thing. Em, are you getting shot? No, I just put my bait up. Huh? Fighting like a hard bait. That is a nice mod. An actual, like an actual trooper. Did I think you just catch one? No, I did. You really are today. Wow. Wow, unreal. You gotta measure him for. No, he's keeper. But we'll measure him. For the YouTube. For the YouTubers. But what I was saying while CJ smoked that mutton, we're out here in the sand and these muttons will cruise around the sand and you know they'll kick up crabs and whatnot they eat. And but they'll also go back to the reef sometimes, but because if you sit right on top of the reef, your lead gets caught in the reef and they can rock you up super easy. What the flat line is it? Adam? CJ.
He's not close? He's like 17. I got a nice fit. Oh. On the panicone. Jackass. If it's a snapper, it's gotta be a jackass. jackass. Silver. Yeah. Look at the remora trying to eat my lead. Oh, it's a oh. mutton! Oh, it's a mutton. Let's keep. Oh, it, yeah. He's, he's, he's 17. He's 17. Nah, that fish is That's girl, 17. Man. Nah, he's it's fat. He's not legal. Actually, yeah. no, that one's keeper. Dude, he looked like a jack. He's just fighting on him. Just caught this beautiful mutton snapper here, guys. Got him on the electric grill. It's actually working out a lot better than I expected. What do you think, CJ? I mean, I've caught a lot of fish on it. It's yeah, pretty easy. It's just because if you're fishing a sardine, they choke it. Yeah. Like, look where the hook is. I'm not is. even fishing a circle, I'm fishing a J hook. Every time you get a good mutton or like a real fish to eat, they choke it. So you don't have to worry about it. Oh. My mango vest. I thought mine's mango. It's running so hard. I've never ate this shade off the of oh, That's off. a mutton pick. Baby oh, wow. oh that's a nice lane. Oh, that's an eater. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. He smoked the bean. Petite. Why is he so white? He's a sand lane. He's a sand lane. Sand lane at heart. Can't, can't play. But, uh, so like I said, all we're doing is washing my rod. Oh, I'm getting a bite right now. A little bit. Getting a bite right now. See? Let him putz on it. Wait for that good tick, that mutton tick. There he is. Then I free spool it. So if he wants to take off of that, he can. And then I just flick it over and smoke him. Oh, that was, that was him. CJ, nicest bite of my lifetime. He's on. Hooked up again. On to Miami Electric Rod. He's just a mutton machine, boys. He's little. Dude, if it's a lane, I'll take that. Oh, it's big. He is pulling hard. Uh, looks nice though. Yeah, it is nice. Oh, flatline got smoked. That's a keeper. That's a keeper mutton. Yeah, it is. We're on that mutton. I don't know. <laughs> 17. What do you think you got, Jay? A Bose Nitos? Very Bose Nito F. A nice Kobe though. Come into his house. Oh. Adam, take the camera. Take the camera. It's a mutton. Adam, take the camera. It's a mutton. <laughs> it's a big mangrove. Damn. No, this thing what? Is you ate the flat line. Are you kidding me right now? No way this is happening. Wow. CJ. That's a beauty. Of that's sword. a giant. <laughs> what? Very on the flat line. On the flat line. Very shallow esque. Dude, on the gosa. Yeah. I, I almost said too. It's snapper esque. But I say it's everything else. Hold on. Hold the camera. That's a nice one. That dude, he ate the fly line. line. CJ just caught that mutton, probably like what, four or five pounder? I mean, mutton. mutton. Sorry, mangrove. It's Sorry, there's so mangrove. much going on right now. We literally moved spots. You know, we we're, were offshore picking out a couple fish that sucked, came in shallow, smoking them right now. This fish will do before the moon, you know, they'll come in shallow and spawn, so. Keeper. All day. 18 all day. Wow. Wow. All right, I said. Dude, came in shallow. I mean, dude, we've been here for 10 minutes. And we put three nice fish in the box. Nice, nice mutton. Like, and then a nice mangrove. Here, I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, it is. And on the reef. Hey, remember when I called nice fish? Yeah. He's a mangrove for sure, he's fighting. Actually, yeah, he's a nice mangrove yeah, at yeah, heart. He's Not going around mangrove. everywhere. Oh yeah, nice mangrove. We'll take him. He'll eat. He will eat. Beauty. He will eat and he will be in the cooler. Hey, my 
Martin. Dan. Um, don't lose this thing. Leader. Oh man, the juice. That's a big mutton. Yeah. Oh my god, he's smoking. Nice mutton. Nice mutton. Oh yeah. I'm um, so wanna leave. Dude. Oh. They cut a nice. Oh, that's a keeper. Mango? Yeah. Yeah. What is what is hanging out of this fish? That's a sand crab. Damn, that's an eel, buddy. Oh. Uh, oh, that's his. That's a king flea. I told you. <laughs> wow, he just he just spit up a sand flea. That's a king flea. I told it you is you. a king flea. So the reason we fish these long leaders for these muns, you see when I'm pulling in a leader like that, is because these muttons are finicky sometimes, and a long leader will, you know, I don't know why we fish long leaders. <laughs> They're finicky, so that's why you fish a long leader. Yeah, what they're are you trying to say. The fish are finicky, so you fish when you have a long leader like that, the bait's really far away from the lead, and it just it looks a little bit more of a natural presentation, you know. But um, that's a nice muddy. That, that is a nice dude. I thought it'd be bigger than that. He thought hard. You didn't fight him at all. Five you pounds. Like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hand lined him. Yeah. All right. Make sure he's Hey. I'm smoking CJ today. Johnson, what do you think about that? I don't know about that. It's real, it's real smoking CJ. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it's, it's honestly very effective. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I understand why Chief's out here these days. Yeah, you want me to try it? I'm coming up. Um, it's a big mangrove. You know how they come up and like... <laughs> how do you look at me like that? Oh, that's a nice mangrove. Is that a dog snapper? No, it's a mangrove. He looked... Is that a hybrid? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa! Come on! This thing's all over the place. Wow. It's all over the place. Can you smoke? Help there, buddy? Damn, you got that leader? Did you, did you see them? What's the verdict? Do you see this? That's a nice mangrove. Oh my gosh. It's In so the boat! I'm on an absolute mangrove pair today, boys. Maybe, yeah. I'll take it anyway. What? Nice one again. Keep it on Jeez. the surface, Jay. Yeah? Oh my god. CJ is on a wreck tear. I gotta say that we're eating good tonight, boys. That's all I can say. This is some risky biz right here. Here's what we're gonna do. It's the mango pole. <laughs> we got a slush going right now. Dan threw some water in there. Ah, ow! Um, we don't have enough fish. Oh. oh thank you. <laughs> Look at him. Buy me a Where's my Dexter? Comment below if I should give CJ a Dexter. Alright, guys, we're at Old Florida Bar and Grill now and got all the fish. We got fried snapper and we got saute, that's my favorite. And over there, we got black. Right here, we got black. Yeah, thanks, Todd. We also fried up. We, we didn't say it. I, I, I did, I did that one. You did it. I still got it. Can't lie. Victor, we stole your boy. Look how petite that is. Unreal. They fried them. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, smoking on candy. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow, unreal. That is very high. We're not going to lie. Thank you. What's up? Kind of sus. Hot. What are you sus about? Wow. Unreal. Unreal. Do you think you and me? I don't know. It is <laughs> I don't do well on camera. Move away, Tao. Uh, got all the boys here eating some nice dinner. I'm going to show you a separate catch gun cook in the next video, so stay tuned for that. 
Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like. Let's keep it growing. Until next video, moving weights out. Thank you.